this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Squishy, Lion Maker, and Chloe! And we're all going to go and jump around the room and have some fun. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Sadly, Lee Bear is still away having his picnic at the moment. And uh, by that, I mean he basically didn't turn up uh, last night. So, yeah, I have no idea where Lee is. He's away, I don't know, having fun somewhere. But it doesn't mean that we can't have fun here in my lovely world. But it does mean that I don't have any cake. Lee was the person that made the cake. I can't make cook, uh, cakes anywhere near as good. And so, sadly, uh, I'm going to have to have some gonna have to have some, some normal, not very tasty food. What we got? We've got some mushroom stew here, a bit of steak, some bread as well. Oh, this will do. I guess I could I could dunk the, the steak in the stew and then have the pumpkin. But oh, this, just, this just won't do. This is just not cake. It's just not cake. But I guess <laughs> it's all I've got for now, so I won't be too fussy. Anyway, uh, let me go now and uh, head over to my love garden uh, to see who is going to be added to it today. And I'm, in fact, adding not one, not two, but three people to my love garden today. Uh, today, I am going to be adding uh, Kira, Livy, and Sophie. And it's because they sent me this picture of some amazing chalk drawings they did. You can see they are absolutely huge, even bigger than they are. Uh, they did me, Squid, uh, Lee, and Amy, and I thought these were absolutely fantastic. I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for sending me the picture and doing the drawings, of course, and welcome to my love garden. And if you don't know what my love garden is, uh, basically at the beginning of all of my videos, uh, I give someone a, a shout out and say thank you to them for some reason. And uh, the only rule about my love garden is that you are not allowed to ask to be added to my love garden. Uh, if you ask, then I sadly won't uh, add you. Uh, that's the only rule though. Anyway, uh, let's go and decide which dog I'm gonna have with me today. Let's have um... Hmm. I don't think Flippy's been with me in a while. Where's Flippy? Have you seen Flippy, Corey? Here's Flippy. Uh, you can come and uh, join me today, Flippy. And I will be honest though, Flippy, um, I'm going to take you over to where the game is and then I'm going to tell you to sit down because um, dogs aren't allowed in the game uh, because Duncan tried to play it uh, in the last episode and uh, got a little bit hurt. So uh, yeah, sadly no dogs in the game. And I should probably explain what the game is. I'm sure uh, if you've seen my last couple of uh, videos, you'll have a good idea. Uh, we are going to be playing Honey Hunt. And I thought I'd finished building it in the last episode, but since then, uh, I've actually added a, a few more additions to it, uh, which I think have made it a lot more fun. I've basically added a timer. And so when you go in, uh, some fences get dropped down, and then after a certain amount of time, those fences lift back up and trap you inside of the woods. So after a certain amount of time, if you get trapped in, then you lose and get zero points. And so uh, the idea is that the bear's gonna run in and try and get as much honey as they can, and then the bees are gonna either try and completely trap the bear, or just slow down the bear enough so that the, uh, the bear's gonna get trapped inside of the woods, or just not be able to get as much honey as they could uh, if the bear wasn't getting trapped. And so we're going to have one bear and then three bees and uh, we're all going to take turns uh, being the bear and whoever gets the most points uh, is going to be the winner. And uh, so yeah, that's what the, the plan for the, the day is going to be. So you get uh, one point uh, for all of the, the yellow honey you get and uh, two points if you find the orange honey, uh, which is right at the furthest part at the very back of the maze. And here it is. Uh, here is the game. So before we play it, I'm going to very quickly show you uh, the additions. I decided to build it out of video because it was a lot of redstone. And I know there's a, a, a limit to the, uh, <laughs> the amount of redstone you want to see in video. So uh, basically, uh, the way it works now is you press this button and then these uh, fences will drop down and uh, let me just go and show you what happens on the inside down here uh, so yeah you press the button it lights up this redstone uh, which will then switch on this redstone and it will go and push this block out which will then turn off this redstone and then make all of these pistons drop. And it will also send another trail of redstone going through all of these repeaters, uh, which basically delay the uh, the redstone. And uh, this takes 50 seconds for it to get through all of these repeaters. And it will then send another signal to this block, uh, which will push it across and that will pull the, uh, the pistons back up. And uh, also, and we'll send another trail of redstone, uh, which goes over to this light. And so basically, whenever this light is on, it uh, means the game is ready to be played. Because after each game, uh, you do need to, to reset it. And uh, that takes a, a little bit of time. So whenever the light is off, uh, it means the game is still resetting. So there we go. I showed my workings. <laughs> and so that is how we play the game. Very simple. And oh, the other thing, uh, there was an override switch as well. So whenever you want, if you pull this lever, uh, it just pulls down all the fences. And so, that's you, uh, so you can get back in and uh, put in all of the honey. Anyway. 
I think that's probably enough time talking about the game. Let's go and play it. So uh, I think Squishy, uh, seeing as you seem to be standing here so eager to attention and uh, because you didn't get a chance to play it in the last episode as the bear, I am going to go and let you go first. So uh, me... Uh, Chloe and Lion Maker, we need to go inside of the maze. So if we all run inside, and then Squishy, uh, you just pull this lever to shut it, and then after I say go, I'll do a countdown, you press this button to start. So uh, we all need to get inside. Chloe, you need to come inside as well, and then you can pull back up the lever, Squishy, and uh, that is going to get us all trapped inside. So now uh, we just need to go and find somewhere to hide in the maze and try and trap Squishy as she comes in, and uh, she's going to be trying to get all of the honey out of these dispensers. Uh, so I'm going to go three, two, one, Squishy, and uh, then you can press the, uh, the lever, and uh, then we can begin. So you can go and press the button in three... Two, one, go, 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 go. Right, here's the first ever official game of Honey Hunt. And there we go. I can hear that it's come out. We need to try and see which way Sway she's going. She seems to be going over to this side, but can I trap her? Oh, where's she going to? I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused in my own maze here. I think she's got past a lot of people, though. I can see where she's heading to, though. If I try and place her down an uh, iron bar there. There we go. I was able to trap her. We might be able to trap her completely. Oh, if Line Maker was able to get her again. Oh, well, here we go. I think we can trap her, Line Maker. Oh, no, she was able to get past. We've slowed her down a lot, though. Here's Chloe behind me. I'm going to go and break my bar and uh, pick it back up again and try and pick this one up again. I have no idea how much time is left on the clock. I think we've done a good job of slowing her down as much as possible. You can see there Chloe's trying to be sneaky. She's staying crouched so Squishy won't know where she is and I think Squishy's going to go and try and get out the maze there. I think she has decided that she doesn't want to take any more risks and there we go. She was able to, to make it out. She wasn't trapped in. So let's see how much honey she was able to get. One, two. So there we go. She got two pieces of honey and that might not seem amazing, but she was able to get out and it could be very easy to get trapped inside. So what I need to do now is I'm going to pull these down and I'm going to go and press this button to start it resetting and I'm going to run inside and I'm going to go and uh, replace all of the honey. Uh, so then we are going to be ready for the next person's go. So I think she got some honey from here. So I'm going to go and place some in here. And where did she get the other honey from? I think it might have been the honey in the middle. But the big question is, can I find my way to the middle of this maze? <laughs> I built the maze and I still don't know my way around it. And oh no, she didn't get the honey from there. Oh, she must have got the honey all the way from the right over here. Ah, she was very sneaky. So I think I need to go through here and then back through this way, I think. And uh, then I can go and place the uh, honey back in the far right here. There we go. Uh, this is where she got the, the other honey from. Uh, but we should now be just about ready for the, the next person's go. So, Line Maker, uh, do you want to have a, another go uh, being the, the bear this time? And so, there we go. He's throwing uh, all of these uh, to me. Uh, you, can, you can hold on to them for now, Line Maker. And uh, you can just... Oh, no, I threw you too many there. Uh, you can hold on to them, and then you can just uh, use them on, on your go, just so you make sure you got them uh, at hand. And, oh, oh, <laughs> I realized I let Flippy run around. You Flippy, you need to lie down there so you stay safe. All right, so the game has reset which means that uh, me, Squishy, and Chloe need to run inside. And Line Maker, if you just want to pull that lever, uh, that was going to go and uh, lift up the fence. And uh, when I say uh, press the button to begin the 50-second timer. Right, all of us, we need to go get inside. Make sure you've got your iron bars ready. Uh, let's see if we can go and try and trap Line Maker. So you can pr uh, press the button in three... Two, one, go, 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 go. Okay, so I'm going to stay here in the middle and see which way Lion Make is trying to go. Okay, he seems to be trying to go over to the right. And oh, no, I did the same thing again. <laughs> I ran into just a wall. I got completely confused. Where's he going to? There we go. I can trap him. I can trap him here. There we go. There we go. I was able to, to slow him down there at least. Is he going to come around the other way? Oh, no, he's going a different route here. Okay, he's running back to the middle, guys. He's running back to the middle. Come on, we need to slow him down as much as possible here. And uh, if not, try and trap him completely. I think he's coming back. He's coming back the same way. <laughs> I was able to trap him again. If someone comes around behind him, we can trap him in completely here. Oh no, he got past me though. He got past me the other way. I should have been able to put one down there. Can I block him off here though? Can I block him off? I know he's running around the other way. Oh, I can't catch up with him. He was able to get the um he's able to get the, the orange one there, I think. Oh, here we go. He's coming this way now though. Can we trap him in? I think I trapped myself in there and he ran around the other way. <laughs> oh dear. I think I actually picked up a bit of his honey, but don't worry, I'm gonna count that as if it's his. I'm trapped him here by someone else here. Oh, where's he gone to? He's gone back into the middle of the maze. Oh, we might be able to get him. I think I think he might be taking too long. If we just keep him trapped now, I think the fences might come up and he won't get any points. I think we can do it. If we just need to slow him down before he gets out, he's going to be panicking now. Were we able to stop him? Were we able to stop him? Is he stuck? He's stuck behind the fence! 
He took too long. Oh, you can't try and break it now, line maker. <laughs> you can't try and break it now. Oh, no. He did well. I think he got lots of honey, but he took too long doing it and he got trapped in. Sadly, that means he doesn't get any points. All of this honey means nothing, line maker, because you weren't able to take it back to your bear cave. <laughs> Or your lion cave in this case. Right, um, we are all a little bit stuck in at the moment. So for now, I'm just going to have to break away the, the fence so I can get out to the other side. And uh, then I can go and pull this down. And uh, then I can go and... Oh, sorry, Chloe. <laughs> I can go and start this resetting and uh, put this fence back down here. Right, so I need to now go in and uh, go put back all of the honey. He did manage to get every single piece of honey, which was impressive. Uh, but I think he only just about uh, took a little bit too much time doing it. So uh, he got that honey from there. Then there's the orange one, which should be at the background here somewhere. There we go. I'm actually uh, gradually learning my way around uh, this maze. And oh, there's some iron bars left here. So let me go and uh, grab them. We don't want any of these left around the place. And uh, did I leave any iron bars around here? Yeah, I left some iron bars around here as well. <laughs> and uh, so I need to go and grab them. And uh, let me go and try and put the yellow honey back in this one here, just like that. And uh, then there's the also the yellow honey in the middle. And how do I get to the middle from here? <laughs> it is really confusing, this maze. I think if I go through here, uh, this is going to lead me to the middle. Uh, so I can go and put this piece of uh, yellow, uh, I nearly said yellow dye then, yellow honey, <laughs> in the, the middle down there. So has the, the game reset? Yeah, so as soon as this uh, light lights up, up, uh, that means we're ready for the for the next person's go and um, I think I'm gonna go last so Chloe uh, do you want to have a go being the bear now then so you're gonna run through and try and get as much honey as you can uh, line maker and squishy do you all have enough bars because I got three and uh, I don't know if I got too many okay so I got uh, a chest here for all of the the spare bars actually I've probably got some of Chloe's here actually uh, so I need to make sure she gets some uh, in a minute uh, so yeah uh, the light has lit up uh, which means squishy if you uh, Chloe uh, if you pull that lever there uh, that's gonna go and lift the the fence back back up and then when I say press the button and uh, you can begin your run so uh, I'm gonna go back into the middle Oh, which is my favourite place. So, oh no, there's, a, there's an iron bar that's been left here as well. Let me just go and uh, get rid of this iron bar. Let me just throw this out uh, here. There we go. We don't need that. Right, I'm going to go run into the middle. And uh, Chloe, you can press the button in a three, two, one. Go, go, go. Press the button. All right, let's try and see which way she's going to go to. Is she going? Oh, I think she's coming straight to me. I think she's coming straight to me. There we go. I can block her off this way. Ha ha, you can't get around here. Oh no, she went around the other side. I think I've trapped her. I think, oh no, I've not trapped her. I've nearly trapped her. There we go. We've got her. We've got Chloe completely trapped. She can't get out anywhere <laughs> oh no i'm sorry chloe i'm sorry it's such a sad way to go that that was pretty quick though for line maker to dart in we were able to trap the bear the bear couldn't steal any of the honey i'm afraid that means that your go is over chloe oh no she's not happy about that <laughs> and in all honesty the reason why I added the uh, the timer mechanic was because I thought that it was going to be too difficult to trap anyone. And I think you just got really unlucky there, Chloe, by running straight into where I was. So I'm going to let you out for now. But sadly, uh, that is the uh, the end of your go. And so that means that was zero points for Lion Maker and Chloe. So uh, Squishy, who only got two pieces of honey, uh, is in the lead. She is uh, still the person that is winning from that, that very first go. And oh, <laughs> looks like we all got trapped in there. Uh, should we all very quickly run to, to bed then? And then in the morning, uh, I'm going to go and have my go, I think. So let me just go and uh, press the button and uh, begin it resetting. And uh, then we can all go here and uh, run uh, to bed. And then in the morning, I am going to have the final go. So uh, all I need to do is try to get at least two pieces of honey. And then I'm going to be able to win. Oh, actually, what I could do is try and get the orange piece of honey. Because the orange piece of honey uh, is worth two points by itself. If I get just the orange honey, then I could be able to win this. Actually, no, that would only let me draw if I get the orange piece and uh, then one yellow piece of honey uh, then I would be able to win so does everyone have a uh, two iron bars on them uh, do you have do you have two iron bars on you Chloe uh, if not I can throw you some here yep everyone seems to be to be set and uh, ready to go then so uh, I'm gonna go and pull this lever and uh, you can all go run inside and pick your positions and I'm gonna go and try and think about which way I want to run I think I'm just gonna go on um, I just think I'm just gonna improvise I'm just gonna go with what I'm feeling I'm just gonna kind of make it up as I go along uh, see where they're coming at me from and just try and run in the other direction. I don't need to be too risky. I don't need to worry about getting all of the honey. I need to just get enough uh, for be, uh, me to, to, to be able to win. So 
I'm going to begin the final round of Honey Hunt in three, two, one, go, 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 go. Right, I have pressed the button. I have pressed the button. I got stuck on the fence, but here we go. I am now running in. And look, they've all stayed crouched. They've all stayed crouched. They all don't want to, to show me where they are. Right, I'm going to go run this way to the back. Or am I going to be sneaky and run back to the middle? <laughs> oh, dear. I just want to make sure I don't get caught out. There's lots of big corridors here where they can try and slow you down. And there we go. I've got two pieces of honey already. If I get any more honey, then I'm going to have as many points or sorry more points than uh, squishy did but oh no look they've blocked off that path they've blocked off that path right i'm panicking now i'm panicking now okay i need to try and get another piece of honey but i can't go that way right i need to go and try and pick another route if i can can i get through here into the middle and oh no this side's blocked off as well squishy's blocked that side off i'm running out of time now i am really running out of time can i get through this other side this is dangerous this is where chloe got stuck and there we go i was able to get the honey can i get back out though i need to get back out in time i was able to sneak past lion maker and i am out <laughs> <laughs> Lion Maker trapped himself in <laughs> rather than trapping me in. <laughs> oh, dude, that's Chloe stuck in as well. So there we go. And the time just ran out. That was pretty close. That was pretty close in the end. But look, one, two, three pieces of tasty honey, which means Stampy Cat was the winner. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, dear. And the rule is. Uh, with all of these games, uh, whoever wins uh, gets to decide another game for us all to play. And seeing as I won, uh, I'm going to go and pick another game for us all to play. Uh, tell you what, let's have a um, let's have a two v two game of doggy hockey, then, shall we? We'll have me and Squishy against Chloe and Lion Maker, the winners against the losers. <laughs> only joking, guys. Only joking. Right, if you all follow me over in this direction, I am going to take you to doggy hockey. And doggy hockey uh, is a very very simple game. Basically, uh, I have a dog uh, sitting in the the middle of the area and uh, we need to try and slide the dog along on his bum on the ice. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't get too cold. And uh, try and slide it into the other person's goal. And that is basically as simple as it is. And so Flippy, you can sit down here because we should already have our own dog in here. Here's Gregory Jr. So everyone uh, be careful not to, to knock the dog. Uh, we'll have me and Squashy on the orange side against Lion Maker and Chloe on the blue side. So you can jump in, Chloe. We're going to have a 2v2 game. Uh, it's going to be the first person to score one goal. So it's going to be all or nothing. So we'll begin the game of doggy hockey in three, two, one, go. You can see them there speaking about some strategies. You need to spend more time playing and less time speaking, though, because we're already pushing Gregory Jr. in their direction. <laughs> There's just so many people all over it. And here are the danger zones. Basically, whenever the dog gets stuck, you can push the uh, the button to try and nudge it out. But we don't want that because we want to get it as far away uh, from our goal as we can. Come on, we need to try and slide Gregory Jr. out of here. <laughs> it's so crazy doing a 2v2 of this game. I don't know. I know Gregory Jr. is getting hurt. This isn't good. This isn't good. We need to give him meat. We need to give him meat. Come on, get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Ooh. Oh, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. Right. Okay. We will, we will, we'll do a reset. We'll do a reset. We'll put it back in the, <laughs> we'll put Gregory Jr. back in the middle. <laughs> oh, don't run into the goal, Gregory Jr. <laughs> right. Okay. We're doing a reset. Back to the middle. If ever Gregory Jr. gets stuck like that, we're going to go and begin the game. You can't count that line maker. Right. Round two. We will begin in three two, one, go, 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 go. Right, here we go. Okay, we need to do better than that last time, Squishy. They were getting it very close to the goal. Here we go. We're getting it to, to their doggy danger zone this time. And oh, <laughs> line maker slid Gregory Jr. right back out at me. We need to try and get Gregory Jr. over into the middle. It's kind of hard to do anything when Gregory Jr. is stuck against the wall like this. I'm trying to hug the wall as much as I can to try and slide Gregory Jr. out. I can't get Gregory Jr. any closer. There, there we go. Squishy got Gregory Jr. all the way to the end. I'm going to try and push Gregory Jr. into the middle. Then you try and knock him in squishy we work together here oh no look how close it is look how close to the goal it is everyone's fighting for it right i'm gonna press the button there we go squishy you can score you can score oh that was so close that was so close i'm still keeping uh, gregory jr in the middle it's so close to the goal come on squishy we can do it we can do it we're so close come on we're so close one little nudge one little nudge and gregory jr is gonna go in oh this couldn't be any closer <laughs> we just need one opening no squishy you're pushing gregory jr the wrong way no squishy <laughs> i nearly had a goal then <laughs> squishy pushed it back to this side i can't believe how close that was they had some good defense there they were able to block us but I'm gradually getting Gregory Jr. back to their side. Oh no, they're able to push it behind us. Careful not to, to nudge Gregory Jr. the wrong way. Oh, here we go. Up the wing. Up the wing. I'm bringing him the whole way up. Can I push him into the middle though? i got to get him into the front of the goal. That's good, Squashy. That's good. Keep pressing the button. I'm trying to get Gregory Jr. into the middle. Right, try not to get him back in this other danger zone. Oh no, but here we go. Chloe's trying to push him back forward. Oh, this is such an intense game. <laughs> Never had such a, a long round of doggy hockey. Here we go. There's a bit of an opening here. Careful not to knock him into the wall, Squishy. Careful not to knock him into the wall. We need to try and keep him in the middle. Uh, otherwise, we're not going to be able to, to score a goal. Can we get it past them? I can't even see where he is. Oh, he's gone past me. 
<laughs> he's such a small dog. It's so easy to miss him. Oh, no. They're getting close to our goal now, though. This isn't good. This isn't good. We need to try and keep him out of there. Oh, no, no, no. Defense, defense, Squashy. Come on, let's get him up there as quick as we can. Here we go. I can go up this side here. I'm going to push him into the middle, Squashy. You try and get him into the, the goal if you can. There we go. I'm pushing him out. I'm pushing him out. I just need to slide him across, and you need to try and get him in. Oh, no. He's hurt again. He's hurt again. Quick. We need to get him out of there. We've got to get him out of here. All right. Feed him some pork chops. Don't, don't press the button. Don't press the button. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're going to do a reset. We're going to go and reset him back to the uh, back to the middle. Whoever got the, the red wall, uh, if you go and put the, the red ball, wall back, uh, we're going to go and put Gregory Jr. back into the middle, and we'll have another go. Come on, Gregory Jr., back into the middle. Come on over here. Oh, no, that, don't just go to the opposite danger zone, right? We're going to go and put him down, okay? Put him into the, the middle down here. Right, let's go for the, the third attempt. We'll begin in three... Two, one, go, 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 go. Okay, I'm going to stay on the right. If you stay on the left, Squashy, once again, I'm going to try and slide him into the middle. Then you try and put him into the goal. Oh, this was an amazing start of this round. This was an amazing start. Here we go. This is it, Squashy. Go on, we need to keep him in the middle. Don't let him get next to that wall. Oh, no, they're pushing him back. They're pushing him back. Right, we just need to get him back to their side. We need to get him away from our side as quick as we can. Right, let's just try and slide him out of there. There we go. There we go. I'm getting him up. I'm getting him up to this side, Squashy. Here we go. We've got another chance here. Get ready to try and push him in. I'm going to go and try and push him out into the middle. Then you can go and try and slide him in. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Oh no, Chloe's doing a very good job of pushing him back again. Oh no, I'm sliding him all the way back to this side. <laughs> oh dude, this is such a difficult game. All right, come on. We just need to get him. The difficult thing is when he gets stuck in the wall like this, and then you've got to try and slide him out gradually on the danger zone. But oh no, they're so close. Oh, that was a good save there by Squashy. That was a very good save. And here we go. Here's a chance to try and get him back to the other side. Oh, but oh no, he's stuck in the wall again. He's stuck in the wall. Right, I need to go give him food. Give, go give him food. Someone try and break him out. There we go. I was able to give him the stake. Right, let's go for another reset. We're going to go for one more reset. And oh, I'm getting hit there by someone. <laughs> oh no, now, now Gregory Jr. is going after Line Maker. This isn't good. <laughs> this is good. You know what? I think this game's a tie. I think the overall winner here was going to be Gregory Jr. <laughs> oh dear, because he was basically able to avoid any of us getting a goal. <laughs> oh dear. So that is going to be the end of this episode here. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed seeing us playing uh, Honey Hunter uh, as well as Doggy Hockey. <laughs> uh, we had a good time making it. I want to say a big thank you uh, to Squashy, Chloe and Lion Maker for joining me and a very big thank you to all of you for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!